Are you tired of ads, paywalls, and other garbage infecting your browsing experience? No, I'm not talking about RSS again. This one is some add-ons to take away paywalls. <laughs> and I did make a guide on my website just in case this video disappears because I don't think a lot of big companies are going to like this one. And it is so good. <laughs> we got to get around so many different ways, so many different methods and different types of paywalls. We're going to approach and bypass all of them. <laughs> so let's get into it. So right here, we got some first ones. YouTube Enhancer, I'm not going to mention. You should check it out. Uh, but I can't say much more than that because we're on YouTube. Moving on, we got Self-Destructing Cookies. This is a fun one. Now, I, I don't really use this add-on, but I wanted to include it in here, mainly because self-destructing cookies will delete a lot of logins and other stuff. It'll just destroy all cookies from websites. So if you're really obsessed with privacy and security, it's probably the add-on for you. But for most people, it's going to be more annoying than anything. So that's why I put it there. The big one I like to use, though, is cookie remover. So let's say I'm on a website, and we're just going to pull up my old hometown where I grew up, Kansas City. Uh, and we'll pull up the Kansas City Star. So let's uh, pull this up, continue reading. Okay, I, I don't even have any uh, things. They have a paywall. So I can remove cookies, refresh. Sometimes this bypasses a paywall. And look at that. It, it did actually end up bypassing the paywall. And let's see if we click this. Oh, it's doing it again. I can go back, click it. All right, it removed. Oh, look at that. All right, cool. So it's a cookie-based paywall. These are the easiest to get around. But a lot of times you don't want to be clicking that clicky, uh, cookie remover every single time. If you're just doing a one-off on a site, it's good. But there's also another way we can bypass uh, this uh, paywall setting. And that's when we get into some GitHub. Now, these are not sanctioned by Google, but I have used them. And we're going to install it today because uh, obviously clicking cookie remover for Kansas City Star in this instance... Uh, kind of stinks every single time if you're just reading these things and you just want to say, hey, all these sites that have paywalls, just go ahead and keep flushing cookies and you never have to worry about it. So we're going to bypass Chrome and we're going to add an extension on this one. We're going to have to download the zip file from GitHub. So we'll download that zip file. We need to change uh, and extract this to bypass paywalls at Chrome. So we're just going to open up our file explorer. You can do this in Windows as well. Same process. Uh, I'm going to extract this to my home folder. So we'll just go Titus's extract, show extracted files. They actually put it in my downloads. We're going to put that up in the home folder because that the thing about that is it needs to reside in a spot that's not going to get deleted. If you're on Windows, I probably put this in your documents folder or something like that. So we've downloaded the zip file. We've done that. Now we need to add the extension by enabling developer mode. So let's uh, copy this. We'll come into a new tab, type our extensions, and we'll make sure developer mode is turned on. So it is turned on over here, uh, and we'll be able to install or load an unpacked extension. So let's load that. We'll go to our home directory, click on bypass paywalls. Okay, now we are presented with this prompt. This is all the stuff, all the different paywalls that are already built into this extension. We got Bloomberg in here. We got Boston Globe, Business Traveler, Daily Press. Oh, man, lots of stuff. Some some uh, Spanish and, and Mexican uh, websites. We have oh, just a whole host of things. I think it was the Kansas City Star is the one we're looking for. Oh, look at that. It's in here. Uh, Japan, Irish Times, uh, some some Hindu or, you know, some Indian sites as well, which is great. So I think we're ready to do this. We'll just hit save. That sounds good. I'll just bypass all those. So we'll close this out. We'll relaunch the old Kansas City Star from here. Let's uh, click on this. All right, basketball, KU basketball. If you're in Kansas, you want KU basketball. Uh, what else we got? Oh, look at that. No paywall, paywall be gone. <laughs> oh, that's that's just a thing of beauty, is it not? I love it. All right. So this is the bypass of the paywall, but it gets even better. We got some other extensions we can explore here uh, using this site. So this is 
the two ones, the cookie remover and the bypass paywalls. We got other ways to get around. Coming back to YouTube, there was another fun one that was included here, clickbait removal. The one thing I hate about YouTube is making engaging titles and thumbnails. And by using clickbait removal, it just grabs a scene from a video and then puts the thumbnail and then takes everything and removes all the caps from the title of the video. And you'd be shocked at how this changes your browsing experience. I obviously can't really use this because I'm a YouTuber, but I encourage more people to do it. It kind of is like rewinding the clock 10 years of the YouTube of yesteryear, and you have less of that clickbait uh, stuff in your feed. An interesting idea, and I, I kind of get, I wanted to give props to that extension, but those are really the extensions I wanted to go over in today's video, bypassing paywalls. I think this is gonna help a lot of people. And, and frankly, it, it's kind of how the internet should be. I think it should be much more open like it used to be and not as you know locked down and just ad ridden. I use an ad blocker, <laughs> that's the big thing. I use Brave for my ad blocker, but use uBlock Origin, which is also not here, but it should be. I think I mentioned it in a prior video. And with that, let me know what I missed because I love the interaction I get from everyone. I couldn't make videos like this because you all come up with some great ideas and then I just take them and run with it. And this one, bypassing paywalls was just so much fun. And, and I loved the workarounds that people came up with. So let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.